happy and proud that we are here and that we created the main show uh, this year at the festival uh, called I Artist, everyone is an artist, but right now the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christoph. Um, I'm very in depth to have been invited here by the directors of the festival, Marta and Christoph, and be able to talk before you uh, exposing some ideas and showing some work. Um, I've been requested to concentrate on my own work, not uh, on the exhibition uh, concepts. But of course, uh, later on, if you want to make any question, I will be very happy to answer. Um, We've been talking about images. We've been talking about a world composed of images. And certainly, it's been said by uh, Penelope and by Joachim and Philip, uh, we live in a world of images. So the question, the problem is how to survive in such a context. Huh? And I will, I will provide the first tip. I think that uh, the, the artist's task consists in offering a sort of uh, first aid kit about this problematic, about uh, this uh, visual landscape in which uh, we are inserted. So I understand uh, the artist's uh, responsibility as uh, a sort of uh, conspirative activity, a way to uh, provide prophylactic tools, pedagogic tools, to generate resistance toward this kind of overwhelming uh, visual world, the iconosphere, okay? So uh, photography is a wonderful medium. It's having uh, a lot of uh, options. Uh, but I would uh, propose uh, more or less a nasty uh, classification. One would be decorative photography. And it's fine. It's about beauty. It's about expression. It's about poetry. It's about... Uh, uh, experimentation and so on, and uh, probably uh, it's, it's arriving, it's getting, it's fulfilling uh, the expectation of uh, many photographers. I respect that, but I'm not an expert in that field. Instead, there's a second category, which is uh, conspirative photography. Photography which provokes controversy. Photography which shakes the consciousness. Photography which uh, make us think. Uh, let's call it somehow conceptual photography. Photography which challenge our knowledge of how we are, in which society we live, uh, which challenges uh, problems of memory, of identity, of truth, and so on. Well, this is the aspect of photography I would like to address my talk. But, as I said, uh, Photography is a very rich medium. It ranges many options. It's a language, it's a culture, and uh, all, all the, the possibilities uh, should be respected and coexist peacefully with other ways. Hmm? My own work has been uh, ranging for about uh, 40 years, and it's always difficult to pick up a few examples, uh, which could be a sort of complete summarize. Hmm? But uh, I would say that the outline uh, has been uh, to analyze the true essence of photography. Mm -hmm. uh, and photography could be approached by uh, different aspects. For instance, uh, Philip just talked about time, the instantaneity, the, the fact that uh, uh, in, in photography theory, the Cartier-Bressonian uh, uh, decisive moment has been a, a seminal uh, idea to uh, define what's the quintessential nature of photography if we compare with other visual representations, painting, drawings, and so on. We can capture, we can slice life and capture a precise moment. Okay? But also photography has been dealing with eternity. I mean, okay, we capture life, but we preserve it forever. And in such a way, we deal with memory, we deal, we deal with mementos, with uh, remembering, okay? So when, for instance, we talk about photography history and photography nature, uh, we usually go back to the first descriptions of uh, uh, Camera Obscura, uh, five centuries before Christ, or about the light sensibility of silver salts 
by the Arab alchemists or by the development of optics during the Renaissance and so on. No? So this could be the, 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 the precedent moments of photography. But even I think we should go farther. Eh? And let me show you this example. Hmm? Uh, before Niepce and Daguerre, did photography exist somehow? It's depending how we define photography, how we understand the photographic uh, ontology. Uh, I'm showing a slide of an amber piece which frozen 10 million years ago the attack of a spider to a wasp. This is a sort of snapshot. Imagine the scene. A spider was going to attack the, the wasp and suddenly a resin drop fell and fossilized the scene. If photography is defined